Have you ever wondered if there's something more? Like you were meant to pump lead and eat bullets for breakfast. There is something more. Right now, crew is all about running around and repairing stuff, which is great. Stuff blowing up is not exactly what you want. However, it does get a little repetitive. Look, there's a pilot. Let me just, uh, it, yeah. But there is something more. At the beginning of the match, a team with great pilots means there's there's no reason for crew. That's the harsh reality for all you crew mains. You are practically worthless the first five minutes of the game with a stacked roster of pilots. There will always be the straggler, and yeah, someone's gotta deal with them. But the main crew action happens later in the round when you're neck and neck with the enemy zeppelin. Not only is crew practically meant for cannon and AA usage, but when the going gets tough and that tank is 1 HP, that's your time to shine. But th there is something more. Boarding as crew practically makes you want to ditch the welder and bathe in the thousands of XP you can easily earn. But what does it mean to play offensively? Basically, the days of mindlessly holding left click are gone. When that enemy zeppelin gets near, all it takes is good positioning and the tap of the spacebar, and you can easily hop on. Now you just wreck havoc and kill all in sight. While this may seem fun for the trigger happy, it's also practical. The main argument you will hear about wide aboard is to protect those pilots' bombs. While yes, those bombs will certainly help in your victory, there's something a little more dire to deal with, and that's the cannon aiming right at your field to- Oh my god! When you board his crew, you're meant to kill. Why? Because those victims are usually one click away from making you rage quit after losing both your tanks in the span of a couple seconds. Boarding us crew means you keep the enemy busy, keep them off their cannons, and keep them away from their plane spawners. In this video we will go over the most effective way to board an enemy zeppelin, the best combos for doing so, and some general tips and tricks to warrant playing this way over the general crew defensive class. Now, why would you even want to board the enemy zeppelin? Sure, shooting people is fun, but at the end of the day, they will respawn and go back to what they were doing just 10 seconds ago. Boarding as crew does have big impacts on the match, mainly because you are stalling for time. Your goal is to kill other crew on cannons, AA, or crew that are repairing structures. But what they are also capable of doing is killing pilots attempting to spawn planes. Being able to hold off pilots trying to spawn planes, even if it's just for 30 seconds, leaves a massive window for your planes to be able to bomb, shoot, and restock without worrying about a stray fighter plane. Rocket planes are becoming increasingly common in cannon warfare since they can easily kill cannoneers. Giving your cannoneers some breathing room is something they will most surely thank you for. The average crew setup for Zeppelin Wars has only one guy actually running around and doing repairs. Rarely two. If you can charge onto the enemy Zeppelin and hold off the few crew trying to re actually repair that flaming back tank, it leaves a massive window for your planes and cannons to finish it off. This is the same for ammo boxes. Holding off the enemy from being able to repair is very practical. This leads to the main point of playing offensively. You want to keep the enemy busy. They're busy dealing with a madman running around with a pure gold shotgun, blowing half the crew's brains out. Then that keeps them from doing game-winning stuff, like torp sniping and tank repairing. Obviously, there is a strategy to it, rather than just blindly boarding and killing. The first thing you always want to do before dedicating yourself to jumping over is thinking. Is it worth it? This video isn't meant to undermine the crew class in general. In fact, I've made an entire guide on how to play crew. Crew is still important during times where you could play offensively. And sometimes, you gotta put down the shotgun and pick up the wrench. However, right now, the boarding as crew with an actual plan is in the minority among the general populace. Most people would rather play crew and stay on the Zeppelin. 
so usually you have some teammates already shooting cannons and repairing structures. If this is the case, then you have the all clear. It's all about balancing what is worth more. You helping repair the front tank, or you killing the people on the cannons that are damaging the tank. However, this situational awareness comes over time by just playing the game. Zeppelin Wars is usually a game with high risk and high reward. So even if your Zeppelin is turning into a barbecue cookout, jump on over and do what you can and hope the rest of your crew are competent enough to grab a fire extinguisher. Now, one of the biggest mistakes you can make while boarding is misjudging the distance you can jump. So many times do players do their little battle cry and jump just to completely miss the Zeppelin. Before you jump, there's some things you have to consider. You are on a moving Zeppelin, trying to jump onto another moving Zeppelin. It might look like you can make it, but as soon as you're no longer touching your Zeppelin, you'll feel a thousand times slower. And if the enemy Zeppelin starts to turn away, what you could have made a couple seconds ago has now turned you into chum. So yeah, definitely, um... Look before you jump. Once you manage to land on the Zeppelin, if you've already been spotted, then the hordes of Mordor will be upon you. Try to take cover in a doorway or behind a pillar and kill enough enemies until it's safe to move to a tactical position. Remember, your job is to prevent the enemy from dealing damage to your Zeppelin. If you're holding out above the back tank, then quickly move down into the tank room and prevent pilots from spawning planes. If you're on the deck, make your way to the lower deck and clear the cannoneers. Then head back up to the top deck or hide in the back tank room. Rinse and repeat. Just make sure to know when to reload and time heading to ammo boxes with the enemy respawning. Some of my personal favorite weapon combos really depend on the situation I'm in. Take this for instance. We are riding alongside the enemy Zeppelin and boarding was becoming difficult since their entire team was crew. Rifles would be good here, but I was expecting to find an opening to board soon, and rifles aren't that good in close quarters. So I went with my namesake, the superposed. I had both range and close quarters with the superposed, and, well, I'll let you see for yourself how that turned out. With the superposed or double barrel, the best melee is the knob carry, since it attacks fast enough and deals enough damage that after one shot, it takes only one smack to take down an enemy. Best weapon for boarding and general purposes is just stock shotgun. It can easily take down an enemy across the deck in like two shots. So it's got decent range and of course excellent close quarter co capabilities. Another generally good melee is the mop. Not for damage, but rather for speed. In case you didn't know, the mop grants a slight walk speed boost, making running to cover easier. The other melees are, in my opinion, redundant with a shotgun, since you are literally holding a weapon that can one-shot in the range a melee can hit. Utility weapons like the flag and mop are better suited. Boarding with a rifle is trickier. If you can hit your shots, using the double barrel superpose is more worth it since you get more of a bang for your buck. With rifles, it can be decent to hold off the enemy at a range, kind of like playing defensive on an enemy zeppelin, rather than offensively with a gun you can charge with. With those general usage factoids out of the way, the best loadout, in my opinion, for boarding is simply shotgun, mop, wrench, for your own quick zeppelin repairs, and mech gun. Sabotaging cannons is your way to deal damage to the zeppelin when you're boarding. Sometimes the rest of your team just aren't meeting the damage output required to take down the zeppelin, and you killing enemies is simply stalling the game and your eventual demise. You'll have to take matters into your own hands, and sabotaging is your way of doing so. Sabotaging is risky, however. You put down all your weapons to use a welder or wrench to sabotage a cannon, and you also are, most of the time, facing away from the enemy to do so. I've stated this in previous videos, but you cannot sabotage unless you have decent control over the enemy Zeppelin. Sure, there's the anecdotal 1% of the time the enemy team is brain dead, and you can sabotage right in front of them. But to consistently sabotage cannons requires control over the deck and a buddy or two to help defend you. Once you do sabotage the cannon, always go for the front tank. The front tank in general is harder to destroy because of its god metal encasing. And yes, that's the actual term for it. So ensuring that's destroyed is very helpful. 
By then, you can swing around for the back tank. However, realize that going for the back tank completely exposes your rear to the enemy spot, so always be checking over your shoulder. There's more to being crew. Crew is often looked at as defensive, but really its offensive capabilities are just as good. Boarding the enemy to kill cannoneers and prevent planes from being spawned is very practical, and it can turn the tide of a match. Hopefully you've learned at least a thing or two about why boarding is great, how to board, and what to board with. Until next time, happy zeppelin hunting.